All right, so this is just a demo of what you'll be building at the end of this project, right? So um, we are actually going to predict the price of the various flights that we have in India, right? So for instance, if I'm coming from, say, um, Delhi and I want to go to, say, um, Hyderabad, right? And then I can choose the data that I want to go, right? Maybe I want to go today. And uh, if I do that, maybe I'll reach, um, I'll reach, I'll reach somewhere on the 19th, right? So, um, or maybe on the same day, right? I'll reach, I'll reach there. So I can just choose the time also right and then maybe the p.m. then I can choose the flight that I want right so maybe I want to go with um, Vistera or I can go with Jet Airways right and then the number of stops um, in this case I just want one stop right so I can just click or maybe non-stop right I can just also choose non-stop or maybe I can choose say one stop right and then I can click on submit and over here um, if I click on submit, you can see that the price that I'm supposed to pay is being um, predicted for me. So you can see that in this case, I have to pay like 13,979.57. All right, so we're going to go to the Jupyter Notebook and we're going to do um, a lot of um, a lot of work here. We're going to, I mean, write from loading our data set. Then we do some automatic um, EDA over here, right? And we also do some manual EDA over here, right, to prepare our data better. We're also going to do some feature engineering, all right? And then um, a lot of EDA that we going to do over here to get our data set ready for um for model building right we're also going to build several algorithms for instance you can see over here we're going to do a strategy regressor right and then um you can see you can see that over here we, we, we're also doing some hyperparameter tuning over here all right we're going to do all of this we're going to um make some predictions we're also going to check the score of them right for instance over here you can see that we're checking the score using the r2 score we're also going to use card boost right and then uh, we're also going to use um, a light GPM, right? We're also going to, that's a light GPM regressor. Then we're also going to use um, SG Boost over here, right? So you can see a lot of our work that we're going to actually do. Then after that, we're going to move on to our PyCharm um, ID. That's when we're going to build our Flask app, right? So that's when you're going to build our Flask app like that. And then um, after that, we head on to uh, Heroku and then we're going to deploy it, right? Um, we're actually going to push every code to github and then we actually going to go to um heroku and then um do our final deployment over there all right so um let's get started